Hello, welcome to this new programming video. So today we are again going to solve the question of maximum average subarray one. I wanted to solve this so, but it's locked. Okay, I'll buy premium some other day. Okay, so we are solving this. Uh, I just solved it so. Okay, it's done. Okay, so see the question is pretty uh, straightforward where we have been given like we are being given a list and we are also given a value k. Okay, so k indicates the length of the sub array. Okay, so in this case if k is equal to 4 means that uh, let's take and copy this in somewhat notepad. I don't know. Okay, just a minute. Boom. Okay, boom. Okay, if I have this in a notepad and what I need to do is that here the value of k is equal to 4. Okay, so I'll need to find the uh, four element subarray such that their summation is highest. So we we basically want the uh, average, but the average is greater when the uh, sum is greater. So basically, it's a summation problem. But yeah, so we will be trying to do the basic or the naive approach is simple. We find the summation of these four elements, and then uh, we go ahead and then find summation of this four, and then we again go ahead and summation of this three, and so on. Okay, that's the straight approach. But definitely, you will get a time limit exceeded if you follow that approach. One thing or one pattern which you observe. Let's let's append it. Let's say we are we are this we are given this as the list. Okay, and we are given k as three. Okay, we are doing this three, then again three, then again three, then again three. Then again, three. Why? Why do you need to do this? You just observe one thing. If I'm doing three, and if I'm again doing three, this 12 and 5 is being repeated. We don't want that repetition. So, what we will do is that first of all, let's assume that we are given value of ks4, same in this case. Okay, so if we are given value of ks4, we will just do the summation of this four. We will start our array from this. That's the fifth element. And after starting from the fifth element, we will only minus this summation and add this element okay that's it pretty simple just see me okay let's see boom okay we will first find the length of the array so len of k is what it is um then what we are basically like what we are trying to do is that summation of nums up to the k element okay and uh, I also need to maintain a counter. I'll explain why I need this counter. And also, let's say our summation or our answer. Answer answer is basically I'll show how why we need answer as well. Okay. So answer is summation for the initial purpose. Now for i in range of uh, we will like we will start from the kth element. Okay. I don't know uh, if we have ks4. And if we are adding up this 4, then 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Yeah, we are starting from 4th element. And then we will go to length. Okay. And my summation would become summation plus nums of uh, i minus nums of x. Now you get it why nums of x means nums of 0. And I will increment the x as well. Now, if my summation is greater than maximum maximum is equal to summation and x is equal to x plus 1 okay it's not I don't know I've named this as uh, just a minute I'll just need to convert the name of my answer to maximum Okay, I have to return answer. Oh, sorry, len of not k, len of nums. What I'm getting can only concatenate list, not int. Okay, just a minute. Summation is equal to summation that we have. Summation. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry for that. I have to do sum of two k elements. Hmm. 
global name answer is not defined. What's that? Okay, sorry. I don't need to return the maximum but uh, average. So it's divide by float and k. Yep. Boom. Bye bye. See you tada.